guys, welcome back and happy Mother's Day. Okay, I'm so excited because I'm gonna show you guys a very quick, a very easy, lovely Mother's Day brunch that you can put together very simply with probably about what you've already got on hand. Looky there, and it's gonna make mom feel really special. This is gonna have three parts. So make sure you stay and watch till the end so that you can see all of everything that we're making come together in the final plating, okay? And we're gonna start with the main dish, which is bacon and onion quiche. Again, something that you probably already got on hand. So we're gonna start with our lovely pan right here and start with our chopped up bacon. And this is now finished. So we're gonna turn this down to low, medium low. And I'm, you notice I'm using my strainer utensil because we want that nice bacon fat that we rendered out for the onion. All of that bacon grease for our onion, I've poured some off to save it. And it goes are chopped, and this is just a standard yellow onion, you guys, just the kind that you have in your house all the time. Usually, well, most people do, I guess. All right. We are going to start our egg mixture for the quiche. Keisha, I don't know you that well. You guys, you know I can't resist those, right? You know that. <laughs> Fun little fact. The difference between a quiche and a frittata, largely the difference is a frittata has no crust, whilst a quiche, <laughs> I'm having fun today, aren't I? Whilst a quiche has a pie crust or pastry crust underneath it. And that's pretty much the difference. Now, we've got our eggs in. I'm gonna whisk these to get these to a nice, almost frothy texture. All right, now you see that we've got them almost frothy, almost beginning to froth. My face is probably red. Does that make a nice little contrast with the yellow lemon color of the egg? I hope so. Okay, so you've got that beautiful lemony yellow color on your egg. Matches my shirt today. And that's what we want. That just beginning to froth across the top. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Checking our onions, I think they're finished. Yes, those are done. Okay, take a look at those guys. You see where we got those? Beginning to color up, see on the edges of that? About a half of a teaspoon of salt. Remember the eggs have no seasoning in them at all, so you've got to season that. But we do have salt, remember, in our bacon, okay? So, for this quiche mixture, I really like to just kind of play it simple. You can get a little feisty with your herbs or whatever. If you want to do that, you go right ahead. Just going to whisk that salt and pepper in. Now, in goes some of our half and half. I'm using half and half today. Remember, we don't make this very often, and we want to make mom feel really special. So we're doing a little something extra today than we normally do. Now, into that is going to go our reserved bacon. Look at that. I know you want a bite of that. <laughs> I do too. But we're gonna put it all in the quiche strip. In that goes. Then, in goes our nice caramelized onion. Whisk that just the tiniest bit. Oop. Our bacon is stuck. 
Don't you hate it when your bacon gets stuck? For this, again, guys, use whatever you like, okay? But I like to use sharp cheddar for this recipe. I feel like the sharp cheddar just goes so well with the bacon and onion, okay? And I'm using about a cup and a half of shredded Okay guys, we have our oven preheated to 375 and our egg mixture is just about ready and we have our pie crust or pastry crust. Also guys, if you want me to show you how easy it is to make your own homemade pie crust or pastry, please leave me a comment on that. I made this one homemade. You can use the kind you get in the grocery store, frozen, whatever, but you can go the extra step to make mom feel really special and make it yourself. Now, into our pastry crust or our pie shell, which is unbaked, by the way, goes our fillings. Now, a nice little thing whenever you're baking something that is, well, I don't know that we wanna call it fragile, but yeah, when, you, when you've got a pie shell like that with fillings in it, it's a really good idea to put that pie dish on a baking dish and into the oven. It helps it not to burn across the bottom. Okay, and in it goes for 25 to 35 minutes. We're gonna test that with a knife and I'll show you how to do that to make sure it's done and not overdone. On to our next course. We're gonna make a lovely salad. This, guys, is very, very, very simple. Okay, and there is a reason why, ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so if you remember all of the things that we had in the quiche, and it is got a lot of natural fats in it, right? So because of that, we wanna keep the salad very, very simple. We're not adding cheese, we're not adding a lot of extra fat to the salad, okay? So what we want is we want all of our greens, we have romaine, lettuce and I got the whole head of romaine. A lot of times I get the romaine hearts, but for this application, I really wanted to use the whole head of romaine so that I have all of these beautiful, nice, dark, leafy greens. Okay. Or once again, that method to my madness. All right, now in here, because I want a little bit of depth and I want a little bit of texture. I have this beautiful flat leaf spinach in here. All right, now we toss our greens together. Strawberries. And I know some of you are going, what? Strawberries and a green salad? Well, yeah. All right, now we're gonna come in with our strawberries and I want them to be kind of large in the salad so I'm quartering them and then half in half again our dark greens our fresh beautiful strawberries and our pecans and then to dress it we are going to use a creamy balsamic vinaigrette. Our beautiful salad is ready. And now, for the final touch, onward to the best part, our beverage, the peach bellini. Guys, I've got the perfect beverage to round out our Mother's Day brunch. Cause you know, we've got to treat mama well, right? We're gonna make peach bellini. Now, and so our kava, now you can use Prosecco if you want also but we're using kava today. We're gonna add a little bit of that and a little tidbit of honey, okay? We're gonna have to add just a little bit more of our kava just to get that going. If you're, you probably know this when you make smoothies, if it gets too thick in there, you just gotta add a little bit more liquid. Oh, how beautiful is that?
How beautiful is that? Look at that, you guys. We're going to give it just a little bit of a stir to incorporate. Now, I used about equal parts of the peach, the frozen peach mixture and the kava. But you know what? Do it to your heart's content. Do it whatever ratio you like. Mm -hmm. Yum, yum, yum. It's like an adult smoothie. What's wrong with that, right? So, make this for mom and make her happy. Our quiche is out of the oven, 30 minutes, and let me show you how to test your quiche. One thing that you can do is, while it's still in the oven, if you're unsure, give it a little jiggle. It should have just a tiny bit of movement, but not a lot, especially in that middle part, because the middle part is the part it takes the longest to get done. Now to check it and see if it's done, first of all, you want your crust should be golden brown around the edges, right? But take a knife, just a simple table knife, poke it into the middle, bring it out. It should come out clean like that. It's just, when your knife just comes out clean, make sure you pull it out because that's gonna finish baking that residual heat. It's gonna finish in that last few minutes out of the oven, okay, because it's very, very hot. Also, make sure you let it set up for 15 minutes before you cut into it, minimum 10. Better 15, but minimum 10 minutes to set up before you cut it, okay? All right, we have our quiche and our salad plated. Time to give this a little taste. Mmm. Oh wow, that is so creamy, you guys. Mmm, all of those flavors in there are just complementing each other. And it is so creamy. Oh, oh my goodness sakes, you guys. You guys, you really ought to make this for your mom for Mother's Day brunch, okay? Oh, and don't forget the little peach bellini on the bevy. Ooh, she's gonna love you forever. All right. And make sure you leave us a comment, give us a like, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, guys, make sure you do that because that's really going to help us out and you won't miss any of the good videos we're uploading for you every week. We'll see you next time on Things Tina Does. Oh, and Happy Mother's Day.